Hello, I'm Tamara with Wyoming Dutch Oven Cooking. Welcome to our channel today. We're doing something really yummy and very different. What I've done is I've made meatballs and I've done some ahead of time. In my meatball mixture is a pound of um, hamburger, a pound of Italian sausage, a teaspoon of garlic, a teaspoon of pepper, two eggs, and one and a half cups of panko crumbs. And you mix that really well. And what I'm doing here today, this is what's really yummy, is I'm patting them out. And I have a dear friend that her daughter has goats and she's been making goat cheese, goat soap, all kinds of goat things. It's very, very popular here in Wyoming. It's quite popular a lot of other places. But anyway, it's a herb goat cheese. I'm not quite sure what all she put in it, but I'm thinking it's probably thyme and oregano. It smells yummy and tastes really good. And I went ahead and made them into little balls and put them in the refrigerator to chill them. It's just easier to wrap them with the meat. So this is what we're doing. It's kind of a trick to wrap this around here. And what you want to make sure to do is to make sure that this is well covered so the cheese doesn't come oozing out. And of course, we're going to take it out in our cooking area that my husband's got all ready and going, and we're going to cook it today in coals in our Dutch oven. But of course, like I've told you before, if you don't have a Dutch oven, you don't want to cook it outside, this is something that's incredibly easy to do in your oven. You can make them ahead of time, freeze them, take them out, and then cook them. And then, of course, after they're browned, we brown them, pour off any grease if needed. And then I'm going to put on my homemade pasta sauce that I've made, of course, from all of our ingredients in our garden. And as you can see, I'm going to add some more fresh basil to it today. There's nothing better than fresh basil. The scent is incredible. So there you go. I'll finish making these up. We'll see you outside in a little bit and show you how yummy this is going to be. Just remember to please subscribe, hit the like button, and leave a comment. And we also have a wonderful website, wyomingdutchovencooking.com. And if you go to that website, you can get a free guide and a recipe book. So don't forget, you got to do that. All right, see you in a bit. We got a good fire going, as you can see, and I put a little bit of olive oil in the bottom of our cast iron just to make sure that they don't stick. And they are starting to sizzle a little bit, so I'm going to continue to add them. And we'll brown them on all sides. And then we'll put our pasta sauce on there. It looks like we might be doing this in between rainstorms today, but at least it isn't snowstorms. You never know this time of year. This one has a little too much cheese in it, so we're gonna have to kind of watch it. That's why I told you, you gotta make sure it's covered. This is a 12-inch cast iron skillet. Okay, there you go. We'll keep turning them and browning them. Well, our meatballs got nicely browned, and the wind has come up, and it does look like we might get rained on. So I'm going to have to make this kind of short. So hang in with there with us. I'm going to pour my pasta sauce that I made, my homemade pasta sauce. And I have a cup of Merlot wine, and I love to cook with wine. Sometimes I even put it in my cooking. That's a trick my mom showed me years ago. You don't want to waste anything. The red wine just helps make a really nice, rich sauce. And of course, I've chopped up some of my fresh basil. I'm gonna sprinkle some of that on top. We're gonna to put the lid back on and let this simmer for about an hour, then we'll bring it in the house and serve it over our pasta. 
So we'll see in a little bit. Well, our wonderful meal got done. We kind of fought some storms today, the wind and the rain, but it finally got done and it turned out absolutely beautiful. And this is our Italian meatballs with goat cheese. Of course, my husband has a special name for them. He's calling them goat balls. Can you imagine that? Shame, shame. Thank you for joining us today. We appreciate you. And just remember to subscribe, hit the like button, and please leave a comment if you want to. And go to our website, um, wyomingdutchovencooking.com. And if you go there, you can download our free guide and recipe book. And also, we do have on there where you can go and order some of our favorite spices and cooking utensils. So please enjoy that and use that. Thank you. Thank you for joining us today. Of course, our motto is great food shared with friends and family equals great times. And here's to all of our viewers. We appreciate you. Till we see you again. Thank you.